So today's tip is all about a HTML attribute which isn't very exciting but is really really important especially for SEO and accessibility reasons and that's the HTML lang attribute and it's basically as the name suggests used to specify the language that can, is contained within a HTML document or parts of the document therein. So we're going to see how we can use it. Uh, there's not much visual to show you in this tutorial but we're just going to see how you can use the lang attribute uh, to specify uh, different parts of a, a HTML document and what languages might be contained within the text inside it. So typically the lang attribute is put onto the HTML tag to specify the language of the overall document. So we'll just say lang is equal to something and by default it's set to unknown so it's highly recommended to actually set this even if it's really obvious what the language of the text inside the document is. So you can just specify an en uh, for English in this example um, but you can also put the uh, geographical flavour of uh, that particular language in here so for example I might put ENGB for Great Britain or ENUS if you want the uh, US flavour of English uh, to be specified as the document language type. And you may have seen if you've run different reports on your websites or web apps in the past before that you might get a warning letting you know that the language attribute is missing. Uh, so it's always really important to specify this, again going back to those accessibility and SEO reasons. So that's basically the standard way to use the lang attribute, but you can also specify it on any part of the document as well. So for example, we might come down here to these two paragraph tags. We might set the lang attribute here onto this uh, first paragraph tag where we've got some English uh, text inside there. Uh, and then we've got some French text here, so we just need to specify the language here, which in this case will just be FR for French. So if you do have a document that has multiple languages inside it, uh, it might be worth within your app or within your markup, depending on how you're coding it, to actually specify what language each particular section is uh, by providing the lang attribute uh, on each individual section. So there you go, I'll just leave you with the thought of making sure that you do provide any lang attributes that are required for any translations or for any different types of languages that you might have within your pages. But that's it for this tutorial. Make sure you stay tuned for more web dev tips.